Hello, everyone. It is I, Elise Marie, here at So Quirky Couture, and today is day eight of my Sew It Up September challenge, in which I have challenged myself to uh, sew through as much of my fabric stash as I possibly can in the month of September. Today, I'm going to be sewing up a panel, and a panel is, um, it's just like a, a piece of fabric with a graphic image on the front of it, and this happens to be, um, it says, I find your lack of thread disturbing with a bobbin on it, and if you look closely at the bottom, you might see a familiar symbol, if you are a Star Wars fan, like moi. Um, I love when things combine sewing with other things that I love. Um, so sewing in Star Wars for me is just ah, so much fun. So I have this panel, and yes, there is a white line in the middle because I've already um, marked the center of it. So uh, it's not all lopsided on my body. Um, this top that I'm wearing, I made this the other day. Um, it also is a Star Wars themed panel. See the seam ripper? It looks like a lightsaber. I know. Isn't that awesome? Oh, so, um, this top that I made, the, the pattern actually calls for a drapey fabric, like a sweater fabric or a bamboo like, or, or some of the, uh, the drapier fabric, like, fabrics that I've showed you like this, this is a sweater fabric. And as you can see, it's pretty drapey because this is supposed to be slouchy and hangy and just um, but because I decided to use a cotton lycra or a cotton spandex, cotton elastane, um, I'll show you, which is a bit more structured um, than a than the recommended fabric. See how how much more structure this has. The uh, top actually isn't very drapey like it should. It's kind of more boxy. Um, but that's okay because I still like it. Um, and that's just why you have to pay attention to, uh, fabric suggestion requirements on the pattern or it might not come out as it's supposed to in the pattern. Anyway, so I have the panel and I have the coordinate to go with it, which is a bunch of bobbins as well. Again, cotton spandex. And so t today we are going to make an off the shoulder peplum top uh, by Made for Mermaids again. We're actually going to use um, the Mama Cassie for the bodice, which is the top half, and we're going to use the bottom part of the Mama Adeline, which I've used before as the uh, peplum portion of the top that we're making. So let's head on over to the cutting table. We need a force. Here. 